Hey guys, how's it going? As you pop on here, please say hi. Tell me where you're tuning in from. If you've never um, seen this, maybe come up on the feed before. My name is Amy Howard and I am the mother maker here at A Maker Studio. And we have some amazing projects that we're showing you. If you've not watched lately, I did a live on how to create an adorable purse. Um, we've got all of these great resin projects and that's kind of where my head is because one, I've always been a fan of acrylic resin. It really makes beautiful, um, classic, very elegant pieces that you can enjoy for yourself, give away as gifts to friends and use in your home. So I wanna be able to show you what we're gonna be doing today. Are you ready for this? Is this the cutest Cutest, cutest, cutest keychain. What a great gift. We talk about, yes, we get ready for the holidays. We do a lot of gifts that we wanna be able to give people for Christmas, um, for Hanukkah, for Kwanzaa, for all the, the holidays that we have. But what about, what about a happy? What about just making, look at these. These are, hello? Like, is this the cutest coaster you've ever seen? Uh, yes. Like. This is the most classic coaster. If you think about seeing something like this in a very high-end um, gift shop, 100%, I would, I would totally buy this. But here's the great thing. We love creating really beautiful things that you can enjoy the bragging rights with, that you can say, I made this for you, and they're like, there's no way. It's like, yes. So I wanna be able to show you how to create these. So I'm gonna go in and turn this down. If, as you pop on here, say, hey, Tell me where you're tuning in from. Y'all know that I'm the renegade every time I do this. I've got to give something away. So I'm going to be giving away the mold to be able to create this keychain and uh, this coaster along with a resin kit, along with the stencil because we're going to monogram it. Here's the fun thing. With this stencil that we're going to be working with, you can create any monogram you'd like. So that way you can make them for all your friends that can have their own. You know, here's here's a great thing. If you know somebody getting married, would these not be the best bridesmaid gifts? Even as a wedding gift, you could do these coasters. It's like when you get married, it's been, I mean, Jean and I have been married almost 34 years, but remember when you were first married, it was like you wanted to see your monogram on everything. So when I've done this in the past, I will do my initial, Jean's initial, and then ours that we share together. So, so, it's just such a great gift that, um, that you can make for your friends. So, let me show you how to do this, it's so easy. I'm gonna turn this down so that way um, you can see, but as you pop on here, say, hey, share this video, tag some friends, and your name's gonna go in for a drawing. So we're gonna be giving this kit away to be able to create it yourself. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna go in and mix up our resin. The cool thing about it, um, with this particular mold, the round mold that you see, it doesn't take a whole lot as far as being able to create a keychain or a coaster. And so I've got my silicone cup here. You know, if you're new to resin, um, welcome to the resin world. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's so easy to do, I promise. And it's going to give you so much satisfaction. But we've got a hardener and we have our resin. So we, ha we do have um, our smaller containers and then our larger, we have eight ounce and a 16 ounce. When you're working on, working on larger projects, you're gonna to wanna to get the 16 ounce. But, and these always come together. They're called a kit. So that way you've got your resin and then your hardener. Your resin is very thick. And if you're, if you're working on this at home, please open up some windows. I want you to be able to um, have some air, turn on your ceiling fan or whatever. You wanna make sure you're working um, in a well-ventilated ve area. It's a great project to do outside too. Um, but the great thing about our resin is it does not yellow. That's huge. I've seen and worked with other resins that yellow and I was not happy. I put all this time and money and effort into it and then they yellowed. So ours does not. It's going to stay completely clear um, and beautiful. So I'm going to mix up half and half. So I'm going to mix up 50% resin and 50% um, hardener. So I've got a small container here. I'm just gonna, I'm looking at the side. It's got the measurements on the side of it. And then that way I can make sure that I've got the right amounts. 
your resin is always going to be a lot thicker. All right, so now here's the other thing that's very, very important. Make sure that you stir this for three minutes. Just being able to blend this, you'll see it kind of go from clear to cloudy to clear again. Make sure it's just agitated and that gets that hardener mixed into basically you're changing the molecules of it to be able to make sure that it's all blended really well. So after you've stirred that for three minutes, now you're ready to pour it into your mold. So I'm just gonna go on and pour it in. Make sure it goes all the way to the top. And then there's no need to clean this out. Just let this dry overnight. Um, and then that way you can turn the silicone cup inside out and the resin's gonna be whole. So I don't like trying to go in and clean it now. I just let it dry overnight and then that way it's the easiest to be able to keep clean because the resin is not going to adhere to the silicone mold. So now you want this to be able to um, dry overnight and then that way we're gonna have our disc that we'll be working on. So I'm gonna set this aside and go to my next step. All right, so one thing I wanted you to notice when you're working with this um, monogram stencil, which is fantastic, this is one of the best stencils that we have and it, it's so versatile on all these different personalized projects like this. You're gonna get two of every letter. So depending on if um, S is the first name or S is the last name, because you wanna be able to put it next to it, you'll see where um, where we popped out the, what we're gonna do, this is our keychain out of our mold after it's dried for 24 hours. Then that way, cut, you see the little lines that you have here, cut out whatever letter it is that you have as your first initial and then your last initial. So the great thing about these stencils, they're reusable, you can wash them, keep the sleeve that they come in so that way you can just go back and use them all over again. So I'm doing my initials, A-H, and I'm gonna be working with our um, art ink, which this is If the Creek Don't Rise. I had the best time naming these. And so you're also gonna want a squeegee. The squeegee allows you to be able to get the ink on here more evenly. It presses it through the mesh itself and allows you to be able to get this really clean monogrammed look. It's so easy to do. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the ink. I'm gonna spread it on top of my squeegee. Like this. And then just lay on top of it and spread it out. Like so. So now that way, I'm gonna go on and remove my stencil and it allows me to be able to have my letters. Now, I did my H just a little bit earlier so it's, you see how much darker it's gonna dry down and that way I've got both my A and my H. So this one is actually already dried and it lets you see how fantastic it looks. Now, Whatever side, you wanna make sure that you're like working on the back side of it because that way we're gonna come and we're actually gonna decoupage. It's gonna make it look a lot more interesting. Now, let me just say this. If you wanted to be able to have um, coasters and you didn't wanna have any pattern or anything on the back of it, you can just leave it like this. And this is the back of your coaster so that way you can just set that down and set your, your glass on top of it. But now we're gonna actually do some decoupage on the back of this to be able to make it into our custom keychain. So I'm gonna take a little bit of our copycat and a synthetic brush. I'm just gonna dip it in here like this, offload it just a little bit. And then 
you wanna make sure to work with a synthetic brush instead of a chip brush because a synthetic brush is gonna allow the bristles to lie down a little bit flatter and you won't have as many holidays in it. So I'm gonna come back on top of it, turning it around, trying to go in the same direction, make sure that I get all that covered. Now, the copycat is water-based, so all you have to do is just rinse it with just a little bit of soap and water, and you're good to go. You can use that brush over and over and over again. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna, um, I've got these napkins. If you've ever worked with um, doing decoupage, these napkins, Kaspari napkins, they have so many gorgeous designs. And I think this is just so elegant and it's happy. And I think it's just really elegant. So if you have an elegant friend or if you, something that she likes, maybe she likes Delft or a particular pattern, then choose it for her, especially if this is gonna be a gift that you're gonna give to someone, or maybe you give it to yourself. So I'm just gonna go, and lay down my napkin on top of my copycat and burnish it in like this. And then I'm gonna allow it to dry for about two hours. I'm gonna cut this excess off. And allow that to dry. All right, so after it's dry, you wanna just come back and you can take a wet rag and go all the way around the edge to where it will literally come away. It will fall away. And that way it's only going to adhere to the part that you actually used the copycat. Are you not loving this? I just think this is the cutest thing ever. What cute coasters. And you can also use them as a keychain. Something that I think would be fun to really be able to add an element to this is let's gild the edge. If you've never gilded before, guys, it's one of the most fun things um, that you can add to your arsenal um, of creating. So we're gonna be working with our gold leaf from a maker studio, along with our size, S-I-Z-E. Size is a special glue that is made just for gold leaf. You don't need anything else. And then I'm gonna be working with an artist brush. A lot of times when you get these brushes new, um, they're stiff, it's because they have a form of size in them that's like a starch, like you'd put on a shirt. So you can just moisten this or you can just soften it with your fingers and then that way it's gonna be good to go. As you pop on here, say hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. We are actually giving away one of the kits to create the project that I'm showing you today. So you can win it for free and I'm even gonna pay to ship it to you. All you have to do is share this video, tag three friends, your name goes in for a drawing and we're gonna be giving this away in three days and we'll announce the winner on this post. So be sure and check back because who knows, you might be the lucky winner. We love giving stuff away because we know how special our community is with people that love crafting like yourself. All right, so I'm just removing the top off of my size. And I'm gonna dip my artist brush down into my size. It won't take a whole lot. And then on the edge, you wanna be able to just lay it down like this. If you want to too, you can work for the side of the brush and just lay the brush down on its side as a rule. I try to do little hacks like that. The good thing is, if you get it on the top of your coaster, you can just wipe it off. It's water-based, it cleans with soap and water. And you're gonna have to kind of have some good lighting so that way you can see what it is that you're doing because it is clear. And the size goes on white, but it's gonna dry down clear. It will just look shiny. Here's the other thing. If you miss an area on what it is that you're gilding, you can always come back and you double gild. You just gild, you do exactly what you're doing on top of it all over again. All right, so I'm gonna go on and put my lid back on my size because I don't want it to dry out. Make sure that when you're using it, don't get down on the side because then when you put the lid back on, it's gonna be difficult for you to actually remove the top um, again because it is glue. Then you'd wanna just pop your brush into um, some water because this is water-based. I like adding just a little bit of Dawn soap and be able to clean my brush off really good. So we, we have what's called tack. 
our size needs to come to attack, um, T-A-C-K, to where it's not wet, it's not moving for us to be able to lay our leaf on. So I'm gonna go on and open up my leaf and every leaf comes in a book, just like this. And in this book, there's 25 pages. And in between each page is a piece of tissue that allows you to be able to work. So let me just lift this up and I want you to see. So there's my tissue. It's in between two pieces of um, the protectant. So make sure that you don't have any size or anything on your hands. A lot of times when I get ready to gild, I'll just take a little bit of baby powder, put it on my hands to keep them really nice and dry. And you'll notice here there is a binder, and like a book, just like a book would have. We want to keep that binding in place, and we're going to cut this direction. So we don't need this whole sheet to be able to do our coaster. We're just going to cut it like this, just a little bit bigger than the area that we're going to be gilding. So I'm going to go on and cut this all the way down. And then I'm gonna go on and put my book back in my stay flat. This keeps it nice and straight. It's just a great place to store it. So that way I can get it out for my next project. So now, holding the entire book together, you're gonna to pull the top part back like this. Okay, I'm holding all of it together like this. So none of it's falling out. And I'm gonna lay this down like this. And then I'm gonna rob one of my pieces of tissue over here, like this. Now, you can, I try to get you in the habit of not touching it because I really don't want the oils from your fingers getting on your leaf. So lay the tissue down like this and from left to right, just like you were reading a book, burnish it like this. Now, you wanna make sure that you keep the tissue off of the area to where you've not laid the leaf down because it will the size will stick to it. So you see how you've got the excess? Look at that. Aren't you just falling more, more and more in love with this? It's so cute. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. Because this is round, it's kind of odd, I'm gonna try something. Look at that. So I'm gonna take my tissue again. It's very, very important. I've got a little place here. It's very important that you burnish it. Even if you feel like you've gotten everything covered, you've got to burnish it because what that does is that sets the gold into the size. And the more you burnish it, the more brilliant the color of the gold is gonna be. So I'm gonna work my way all the way around to make sure that's nice and burnished. All right, so now we're just gonna come back with a brush. We can use the brush that we actually used the copycat on. I just wanna make sure that your, your brush is completely dry and it doesn't have any size on it, no paint. I usually like to have one, one brush that I keep and it's just what I do my burnishing with. So let's go on and take off our excess. So I'm gonna go in one direction and burnish it. And as I go in that direction, it's gonna to start to kind of basically fall off. Now, I was getting ready to do this and I'm like, I want you to see, if I push this direction and the leaf is over here, it could have a tendency to make it jagged and tear. So I'm gonna go the opposite direction to get that excess off. Or I'll go to the side. You don't wanna go against it. The 
cool thing about it is without the size, the gold leaf is not going to adhere to the front, so you won't have any difficulty fixing it. How cute is that? See the versatility that you've got in being able to create all these beautiful coasters. Basically your imagination, you can do anything with whatever napkins, papers, you can even go online and print off papers. If you wanna be able to um, print off pictures, photographs, you can, photo you can print off a picture of your children or a family vacation or a wedding photo, whatever you want and that can become your decoupage. Now, you can do a couple of things. You can come back and um, you can paint the back of it. I actually like it just being just like this. I think it's really pretty this way. It gives it, I think, a very upscale feel and look. You don't have to gild the edges if you don't want to, um, but I just think it takes it to a whole new level. Then, I'm gonna pop on here and I wanna do another video to show you how to be able to go in and drill down here. We've got the little tools to drill down to be able to add your attachment to create your keychain. So I hope this has inspired you. I hope you're thinking, okay, she's right. These are very, very classic, elegant. If they were in a shop, they'd be a lot of money and how, what a great way for you to make your own birthday gifts. This may even spark a whole new business for you to be able to have a side hustle. I love them, I think they're great. If somebody gave these to me, I'd be so jazzed. So use your imagination, uh, decide, you can create, print off your own pictures, make those, go buy a bunch of fun napkins, be able to create and decoupage them yourself. I can't wait to see what you do. Be sure and post them on our Facebook page, Crafting a Beautiful Life because it's your turn to enjoy the bragging rights. Have a great day, everybody.